Greetings, Primitive Earth Humans. Welcome to another episode of uh, Feed the Beast Sky Factory 2.5 made by a guy named a Bacon Donut. That's why you get bacon in a donut. <laughs> yes. Anyway, yeah, that's a pretty cool way to put your signature on your mod pack there. <laughs> so, okay, so I've been working, uh, working a lot on growing trees and just harvesting the crap out of, uh, look at all this wood. We've got lots and lots and lots of wood and also as you can see got lots of dirt right now because i've been composting the crap out of uh, oak saplings and stuff like that now so one of the things that's uh, normally done in a sky factory world with the configs is it's it's normally done in a way where the configs have been changed to prevent you from from crafting just normal tools and things like that but uh, i have noticed that the uh, the configs in this do allow for uh, crafting of like the wood axe and things like that. So you can do it that way. Um, I think we can probably even also craft a wood pickaxe. I don't know. My guess is that the configs are supposed to be uh, set to prevent you from crafting normal tools and things like that. Because, uh, let's see, a Crimson Sap Boy actually asked me why you're punching the trees. Why not just uh, craft an axe? But I'm, of course, used to uh, the way normally Sky Factory is supposed to work, where you're supposed to make the uh, Tinker's Construct tool. So I'm just going to pretend that uh, we can't craft normal tools. Um, everything except for a hoe, um, which actually we don't even need to bother with that either, because I've got a Stone Matic, which also works as a hoe. So, um, but anyway, uh, that is usually the deal, at least with the uh, AT Launcher's uh, Sky Factory 2 is set that you cannot uh, craft normal Minecraft tools. You have to use Tinker's Construct, but I'm just going to continue doing it that way. So, oh, yeah, there goes another tree. So the one thing we really got to do is we really got to get ourselves some water. I added two more barrels over here for the kitchen all over the water. If, in fact, we get any, we've got our cobblestone generator all set up and ready over here for, for when that happens. But uh, I think we might have to take other steps in order to get the water. Now, since we've got our heavy oak sieve over here, one of the things we can do is we can craft a lot of these dirt blocks into compressed dirt, and we can uh, basically sieve them that way. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, sieve these last few pieces of dirt. Though early on, like this, with uh, especially with the dirt, I like to do it individually. Um, even though it takes quite a bit longer sieving the dirt uh, one block at a time, um, you can multiply the speed by nine blocks uh, by using the compressed dirt variety but you only get five drops per each so you're basically getting uh, five loot drops for each nine uh, pieces of comp compressed dirt there so if you ask me you know you're losing four drops every time uh, you do the compressed variety but uh, just to show you how that works so we're gonna in fact I'm gonna go ahead and just take these guys here and bust them back down but uh, we'll go ahead Sieve that one there, and yeah, would we get <laughs> we get a little bit of a little bit of stone? But I'm gonna go ahead and since we're doing dirt, just do them individually for now, just in order to maximize uh, the amount of drops that I get from it. And last block of dirt to be sieved there, and what do we got here? We got the sugar cane seeds, a whole bunch of seeds, uh, got a bunch of pumpkin seeds, grass seeds. Now we can put grass seeds on a dirt block and uh, get that. And look at that, we've got three stacks. Of a small stones here, so I think we're gonna put the rest of this stuff away. Some even put some potato seeds. Sweet, sweet. So we got 48 pieces of cobblestone. I'm gonna take eight of them right now. Make ourselves a furnace. Really need us to have ourselves a furnace. So sweet. And we're going to take. Since we've got so much wood right now, we're just gonna take a half a stack of uh, oak wood planks and uh, oak wood logs and make ourselves some charcoal and I think we can come over here and I think let's see we haven't got our rain barrel but we did sift some sand I haven't sifted any dust yet but uh sure what the hell let's just <laughs> get that off our list real quickly here we'll just uh smash this sucker and we're gonna throw it back down there smash it into sand and put the sand back down and smash that into dust and just sieve that one piece of dust just so we could say we did it. And sweet, what did we get there? We got one piece of powdered copper ore. <laughs> okay, so we can mark that off on our list right now. 
We have made our tinkered tools, but not from bone and flint. Um, we'll have to make ourselves a mob farm for that. And just for the sake of moving things along, I think I'm just going to have to maybe uh, cheat and turn on the rain in order to uh, to get uh, our water here. Um, I don't know why it's taken so long to rain. We're in a forest biome, and I, I think we would get rain a little bit more often. But we're just going to go ahead and turn it on the cheaty way, just for the sake of the uh, video. And there we go. We've got some rain, and it will slowly fill up our barrels over here. And yeah, sweet, that's going to give us a... Uh, four buckets full right there each of these uh, barrels holds about exactly a buckets full of uh, rain so now what we're going to need is we're going to need a bucket so there's a couple ways we can do that we can either get ourselves uh, three iron ingots and make ourselves an iron bucket or we can make ourselves a clay bucket and the way we're going to do that is with an unfired clay bucket and we just pretty much need six pieces of clay i think it's like a sort of a one-time use thing but to be honest i would really rather just get ourselves a, uh, a metal bucket so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna smash some of this uh here call of stone into gravel and we're just gonna sieve that gravel till we've got enough pieces of broken iron uh, to get ourselves some ingots yeah it looks like all of our barrels are filled and let's see, okay, sieving those gave us just a little bit of a broken iron ore. Not not quite enough. Uh, we're definitely going to need more. Let's put these things away. What we can do is we can take these uh, four pieces of that. Makes a piece of broken iron gravel. We slam that sucker down and we smash that. That will turn it into a crushed iron ore. You craft that up into uh, iron ore sand and you smash that again back down to dust. Now every time you do that process of crafting the pieces and smashing them, every time you smash them, there's a chance that it will generate uh, five pieces instead of four. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, just like we got right there, we got five pieces of powdered iron ore. So even though you can get the broken varieties, you can craft those four pieces of that into a block of iron or gravel you can fire that right away in your furnace there and get yourself an ingot but it's best to smash it into uh, the other uh, lower forms the uh, crushed variety just because of that uh, slight chance of getting an extra piece there so okay we're gonna throw that in there and now that we've got this one piece of iron ore dust we're just gonna go ahead and we're not get ourselves an ingot and while we're at it we might as well go ahead and smash up the rest of this here cobblestone and we've got at least one iron ingot right now we just need two more i think we're gonna sleep in our bed till morning time and that should turn the rain off yes usually sleeping in your bed is one quick way to turn the rain off and let's uh go ahead and sieve up these uh 23 pieces of gravel and what do we get? We got uh, just seven pieces that time. <laughs> one, one piece short of what we needed. We really just need one more piece of broken iron ore. <laughs> it's literally all we need. So uh, looks like we just need a little bit more iron here. I'm gonna grab up this here flint, and right now we're going to go ahead and upgrade. I think. Yes, yes, yes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our axe head here. And I uh, put a piece of flint in there, and we're going to craft ourselves a, a flint axe head. And just do a quick little upgrade. I think uh, we do have to have a fully repaired uh, tinker tool before we can upgrade it, though, because right now we've got the uh, stone head on. So let's repair that sucker. We're going to go ahead and, oops, put the new part in there. And swing now. And I'm going to put the rest of those in there for repair. Uh, anytime we need to come back, we can just stick this in here and that will repair it. But we have now upgraded our matic to a flint matic and hopefully that will, you know, maybe be a little bit, a little bit more efficient now. As I've been uh, growing and harvesting trees, we've already upgraded uh, several times where now at the accustomed level on our uh, flint matic here, we've got uh, haste, we've got to, uh, let's see. That gives us a, a hundred, uh, like adding a hundred redstone to it. So haste just makes it, I think, chop a little bit faster. Our durability is pretty decent on it. 
So as usual, we're going to need to make more dirt blocks. So let's go ahead and harvest up a crap ton of these here. Leaf blocks and get ourselves a whole bunch of saplings. And sure, we'll throw them saplings in here. We don't really need that many. Harvest up all this wood. We got a little bit of a hungry, so let's uh, chop a couple of apples. And already now we can grab up these here dirt blocks. Sit these guys up. Get ourselves a little bit more cobblestone. Sweet. Let's put these seeds in the way. Craft up our cobblestone and come back here, you. <laughs> and yes, yes, let's turn these guys into more gravel. Just a few pieces of gravel. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get what we need. Let's put this down here so we can see how many we got. We just need one more piece. There we go. There we go. That's what we needed. Let's smash this guy. Craft these up. Smash that down and craft these into... An iron, iron dust block. Okay, and sweet. Fire that guy up. Grab up our ingots here. While we're waiting for that to fire, I'm just going to go ahead and sieve the rest of these here. Gravel blocks. And look at that. We got ourselves a diamond that time. We got one single diamond. Schwing, schwing daddy on. Okay, let's grab this uh, iron ingot. We've got three iron ingots now. and make ourselves a bucket. Awesome task. Well, now all we gotta do is, uh, find a place where we're gonna make ourselves an infinite water source. And I'm just gonna grab up some of these guys here and... Sure, we'll stick her over here for now. One bucket and another bucket in this corner. Sweet, and there's our infinite water source. Awesome. So actually, we don't really need these extra two buckets here, but, uh... Just in case I crafted it up, just in case something went wrong. <laughs> now we've got to get our, our lava. And the way we're going to get our lava is by uh, putting a crucible on top of a torch, filling it with cobblestone, and uh, letting that melt down into a, a bucket's worth of lava. So uh, we're going to need crap tons more uh, cobblestone, I think, for that, uh, for that to work. And we're going to need some dust. And so, pretty much everything depends on cobblestone, which means we're going to need more saplings, more dirt blocks, sift more dirt blocks in order to get more of those little stones and craft up more cobblestone. So let's twerk, twerk our little booty, so we can grow more trees. Okay, right now, sure, we're going to take a full stack of these guys and compost them into dirt blocks. And while we're kind of waiting for all that to happen too, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a whole bunch of bunch of wood here. And I think it might be a good time to get ourselves started on a mob farm. So right now I'm going to put my buck bucket away just in case if I fall off. <laughs> I don't want to fall off. I'm going to take a whole stack of uh, wood logs there. And we're going to take, I'm you know, sure I'm going to turn these guys into planks. I'm going to take a whole, whole stack and convert those into planks. And I already crafted up some fences, but we'll probably craft up even more fences. And let's see, this here is our spawn, our original uh, spawn block. So we want to go at least, I think, 24 away. So, and first of all, let's grab up all this, this here dirt. And before we do any more, I'm going to grab a full block of logs here. And uh, just in order to uh, maximize the amount of dirt we can we can make here, we're going to smash these guys down with our hammer. Main mine that all up. And okay, that gives us several more stacks of this here. Uh, Wood chips that we can use also to compost into more dirt. Okay, and yes, we've got even more dirt blocks, but we're done sitting the ones that we had right there. That gave us like a 58 blocks of stone. Let's go ahead and craft those into cobblestone. We're going to smash these four into gravel, and we're going to take those four, smash them into sand, and we're going to turn that sand into dust. Now that we got four blocks of dust, we're going to take them over here and we'll just throw that dust into these uh, oak barrels full of water and then boom, we get to, we get clay just like that. Sweet, we got four pieces of clay. Throw those guys down and we're just going to smash them with our hands until we get some balls of oak clay. More than enough right there to make a, a crucible. We only need really seven of them. But, uh, oops, and it goes in a pattern like this, but... 
Oops, let me grab those up. But this isn't the right kind of clay. We need uh, to get some bone meal in order to uh, turn this into a porcelain clay. So in order to get that bone meal, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to put a lot of this stuff away. Now this is the part where we're just going to go ahead and make ourselves a mob farm. Just a temporary one from now. So spawn block, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. So, okay. I'm gonna go a couple extra though. And let's see, that's two more. Let's go maybe three more. This is where the actual spiral will be, and I'm gonna go one, two, three. Ready, four more blocks here, so. And this is where our spawner is going to sit. So we're just going to do, like, you know, the real kind of cheapo version of, of a mob spawner. And the reason I'm doing a, a four-wide thing there is to give us uh, plenty of backup room. In case we need to back up. One, two, three, four. And we'll do that on both sides here. All around this thing is going to be kind of a four-block four border. We're going to make it like nine wide, so we've got one, one, two, three, four, and then we'll do four blocks out from there, so two, three, four, okay, sweet. Awesome, just like that. So, okay, we've got this thing, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and, um, sure, it's going to be nine wide. And we'll have a block on the side there, too, so, okay. Sweet, so the way this is going to work is we're just going to, this will be our spawning platform right here. Let's throw a slab down there so we can get up in here. This is where the mobs are going to spawn. And then we're going to go like this. On both sides here. And we're pretty much just going to make it one, two, three tall. With a half slab on top. So that uh, nothing can spawn on top of this thing. And that's going to be it. You know, big enough that Enderman can spawn in here because, yeah, we want to get some Enderman loot. Absolutely want to have Enderman loot. So we'll go one, two, three. Half slab. Swing daddy -o. Grab some torches and maybe yes, a couple more sticks. A couple more hunks of coal. Make up a few more torches. So I'm just going to put a torch here. And a couple of torches on the back side here. Too. So, okay, groovy. Now what we got to do is just kind of cover this whole thing up. And we just fill it in, just like this. The top two blocks. And then we put slabs on the bottom, just like this. Do that on both sides, basically. And since the game sees a half slab in this spot as a full block, uh, the lighting will darken out all in there. So if we hit F7, we can see if we've got red on the whole platform in there, it sees that as total darkness, and yet we can still reach in here and smack the crap out of these guys once they start spawning in there. So, okay, let's get rid of this stuff. In fact, we don't need these uh, half slabs down here. Let's, uh, let's fix that. Sweet. And now, sometimes if you're in here uh, hitting these guys, <laughs> and they hit you back, I mean, you could run into some, some problems where they hit you and they push you off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround this whole thing uh, with some uh, actual fences. I'm going to put a slab right about there, and I'm going to go ahead and craft up the chest. We're storing stuff here. I'm going to stick that chest right there. And then what I'm going to store in here is 
stuff like this. First, I'm going to make a couple of swords and a couple of extras. Store them in there so we can use these stores, uh, swords to uh, smack the crap out of these guys when they spawn in. Make a whole lot of fences right now. And again, surround this thing just in case we do get hit by any mobs and they push us back. It won't knock us uh, over the edge. So, yeah, we don't really need blocks under these guys. But I'm going to go ahead and fence it in all the way back to our main platform. So hey, there we go, a little bit of a safety rail there. Now we can hang out back here and wait for the mobs to spawn. I think as long as we're back beyond this point, um, that's why I built it out a couple of, couple of blocks farther. And see, already we're getting mobs uh, spawning over there. Sweet, so while we're at our workstation, we shouldn't be too close, and we're going to leave that open right there so we can see when these guys uh, spawn in. All we need is a few skeletons, really. A couple of, couple of zombies. And sweet, and we get zombie flesh here. We can turn that into zombie jerky. We're going to make nine of these drying racks. And we're just going to go ahead and put those drying racks up here. And that way we can take all this uh, rotten flesh we can hang it up there to dry and turn it into edible monster jerky. But you know what we can do. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab our water bucket here. Grab ourselves a bucket of oh, water. And we can at least get this half of our cobblestone generator started. We gotta shift and uh, right click in order to place that there. And then all we gotta do is uh, put our lava right here when we get it so we've got the water half of it. In the meantime, I'm gonna craft up a few more compressed crooks here and uh, collect up a little bit more wood. And we just upgraded our uh, flint mattock again. Huh? What do we get to? We're at up level now. And we got reinforced one. Uh, you get kind of a random upgrade every time those things uh, automatically level up on you. And now we have pretty much a broken tool right here. We've uh, used that thing until its condition went down to zero. But hey, no problem. Tool is never broken with Tinker's Construct. We put her back in there and pachinko. It is new. So at this point now, there's really no need for us to be sieving dirt. Uh, in fact, we can save this dirt and start to... You know, we still want to generate uh, lots of lots and lots of dirt. Um, and we can use that to, to build ourselves a passive mob area. And for uh, farming soil and all that. Um, but we don't need to sieve it anymore because very soon we're going to have a cobblestone generator over here as far as... Uh, uh, being able to uh, get cobblestone, we don't need to sieve dirt in order to get the small stones to convert into cobblestone. The only reason you want to sieve dirt uh, from uh, from this point on is uh, in order to get seeds. So we're going to go ahead and uh, save this dirt. And there, looks like we finally got ourselves a dang bone. <laughs> it took took quite a while for there to finally be a bone. So now all we got to do is uh, craft that bone into some bone meal. But we're going to need a few more bones. We need eight pieces of bone meal in order to make the... Uh, or actually seven pieces in order to make the amount of porcelain clay. And there we go. We got two bones from that skeleton that time. So we should have enough now. Let's kill off the rest of these mobs here. Grab that there. Hunks of rotten flesh. We'll go like that. Gonna go ahead and hang those guys up to dry, and yeah, we can grab up this jerky right there, monster, delicious monster jerky. <laughs> and okay, let's turn this stuff into bone meal. We've got all the bone meal we need. There we go. Turn that into porcelain clay, and we really only needed seven pieces of it. And there's our unfired crucible. Now all we gotta do: throw that sucker in our furnace, fire it up. Meantime, let's grab up these dirt blocks here. Been making plenty of dirt. Throw that on the stack. Sweet, so now we've got ourselves a fully fired crucible. Groovy, groovy, groovy. So now all we gotta do is stick that sucker right up there. I'm going to go ahead and, let's see. For the hell of it, <laughs> make up some stairs. Why not? There, so at least we can get up here and see what's going on in there. Now we're going to need to take some of this here dirt and we're going to have to sieve it up. And let's see. Okay, I think we just need... I think it's just a... 
And I think we just need uh, four pieces of cobblestone here. Let's see. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Solid cobblestone, yes. And we need a thousand, a thousand millibuckets will, will equal a full bucket. And that's going to take a little while. It happens very slowly. Very slowly with the torch under there. But as we can see, we're at 45. Uh, once we get to a thousand millibuckets, we'll have ourselves enough for a single bucket of lava. And we can start making some cobblestone. The cobblestone generator over there. Let's grab our bucket up and... So let's grab ourselves a stick, and I think, uh, since we're about to have ourselves a cobblestone generator, let's grab a little bit of cobblestone there, and go ahead and make ourselves, and can we make a cobblestone pickaxe head? Pickaxe head? I think, yeah, we can go ahead and do that, until we have, at least until we have a little bit more flint, then we can make a flint one, which will be a little bit better, but right now, I don't have a whole lot of extra flint on hand, I've only got three pieces of it. So I don't want to make my uh, pickaxe head out of that because we're going to be mining cobblestone and we'll have plenty extra cobblestone for making that. Oh, but one, one other thing we do need to make, though, we do need to make a tool binding pattern. Go ahead and make that out of cobblestone as well. So now let's go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe. Just need a stick. And there we go, we got ourselves a stone pickaxe. Groove to Asico. Everything slides down now. <laughs> okay, Groovy, Groovy, how are we doing? This here we are. It's gonna take quite a while. And our fluid lava is just about there we go. We hit a thousand millibuckets of fluid lava. Sweet, and that's pretty much all the lava in there. So now comes the fun part. We can finally finish our cobblestone generator. And uh, just remember when you make these things, if you screw up, if you if you make the configuration wrong, you can uh, ruin your lava. But uh, just remember, it's a uh, water block and then the hole. A lava block and two spaces between the uh, water block. But you want the, the water to flow immediately into the hole in the very next block. Some, it's very easy to get it backwards, but uh, we're going to go ahead and shift, place our lava down, and then boom, there we go. Sweet, we've got cobblestone generation. Awesome, awesome, fantastical. So, first thing I think we're going to need to do, though, is we're going to take, I'm going to take at least uh, one piece of cobblestone right there, put that sucker right there, grab up this here crucible, and we want to place it up there so that we can make more lava. Sweet, so now that uh, that lava block underneath is gonna be a much better, uh, much faster uh, way. See, you can see the numbers are going up you know, about to four times, as, or at least two times as fast as it was, it was uh, with the crucible on top of the torch. So that's gonna make lava a lot quicker. So we can go ahead and just fill this, keep this thing always filled up with uh, blocks. It will hold 10 buckets. 10,000 millibuckets. And so with the first dozen or so pieces of cobblestone, I just made a about a, 12 pieces of cobblestone wall there and, and just kind of a filled in along the back there to bounce the, bounce some of the cobblestone back toward us so we don't lose it off the edge there. And we can replace all of this, uh, all of these uh, crafting stations with uh, cobblestone slabs uh, in the next episodes as we start to collecting more of this stuff and we got plenty of mobs spawning over there and now we've finally got our cobblestone generator sweet so things are gonna start progressing a little bit uh, a little bit faster now we can start really get some get some good uh, resources and materials and start smashing cobblestone into gravel start smashing gravel into sand and sand into dust sieving the crap out of that stuff and uh, moving on from there so i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did now uh, please hit that like button uh, comment share subscribe and always obey your alien overlords or you will be probed in your bunghole and uh, once again this is alien pet 13 signing off probably later